we can define the vertical angle as the angle between the inclined line of sight and the horizontal. The angle formed between the horizontal and a line of sight that is inclined upwards from the horizontal is called the angle of elevation. And the angle formed between the horizontal and a line of sight that is inclined downwards from the horizontal is called the angle of depression. As both the angle of elevation and depression are formed in the same vertical plane, the method of measuring them with the theodolite is the same. So, let's find out how to measure the angle of elevation and depression. Let's say you have to measure the vertical angle to an object A from station O. So, first, set the theodolite at O and level it. Next, with the help of the vertical circle clamp and the tangent screw, match the zero mark of the vertical vernier accurately with the zero mark of the vertical circle. After that, tighten the vertical circle clamp so that the line of collimation is horizontal while the reading of the vernier is zero. Turn the vertical circle clamp loose and turn the telescope towards the top of the object A and sight it accurately. Now, take a reading of both the verniers. Calculate the mean of the two readings to obtain the first value of the required angle. Change the face of the instrument and repeat the process. Calculate the mean of the two readings again to obtain the second value of the required angle. The average of the two mean readings is the required angle of elevation, theta 1, without any instrumental errors. Change the face of the instrument again and make the telescope horizontal. Fix the vertical clamp and set the vernier to 0 degrees. Then, loosen the vertical clamp and point the telescope to the bottom of the ranging object. Fix the vertical clamp and take readings of both the verniers and calculate their mean. In the same way, take another set of readings of both the verniers with the changed face of the instrument. The average of these two mean readings is the required angle of depression, theta 2, without any instrumental errors. Note that the angle of elevation will be greater than zero, while the angle of depression will be lesser than zero. So, remember, these are the steps to calculate the angle of elevation and the angle of depression.